Next, let's take a look at Bosch cloud-based services. I have now web browsed to the Bosch cloud-based services monitoring web page. I'm now going to log in using my CBS credentials. Once logged in, we have three tabs up at the top, events, live views, and event history. It is important to note that any cameras registered to CBS will need a license. Under the events page, we can view all of the current events that have taken place. Now this is a demo account, but typically these will be cleared out by an operator. We can see troubles of cameras. And we have also set up a video analytics alarm. So first we are going to take a look at the alarm when it comes in. To view an event, you simply highlight in green the event and left click. This will open up another web browser of the event monitor verification. Here we can see the image of what event occurred to trigger the alarm. Down in the left hand corner we have a play button which we can play the 10 second clip that is sped up of the alarm. And we also have a best shot reference in the left hand in the right hand corner. If we wanted to investigate and this was a live active event, we could click the investigate button and go directly to the live view of this site. Now that I've clicked on the investigate button, we are now in the live view of the Chesapeake site and it brings up a, a image of the camera we were just looking at. We can simply go to our map and drag and drop cameras that are on the map to view. So if there was a live incident going on, we could view from multiple different cameras or follow the incident as it happens around the site. The map can also be set to satellite, so there's an easier way to view. Now if we exit out that web page, we will go back to the events tab where we just were. The next tab over is the live view, which again will take you directly to the live view of the cameras and the site. And simply the last page is event history. So as events are cleared out by the user, they are also stored as, again, 10 second clips and they are stored for 30 days so you can always go back to review the event and clip. Now we will take a look at the Site Monitor app on our cell phone. We can again see all three cameras at the Chesapeake office. To view a camera, we can simply click on the image pane of the camera that we wish to view and a live image of the camera will pop up. We can go back and we can also go to the events tab down at the bottom right by simply clicking and we can see all of the same events that we saw from the web browser. If we want to view an event. We can simply find the event that we wish to, to view. Simply select the event. We have a live view of the camera down at the bottom of what's currently going on and we can play the event clip by just simply selecting the play button. This again shows the 10 second clip of the alarm. This application also allows push notifications through your phone for alarm notifications. This has been an overview of Bosch cloud-based services and the Slate Monitor application.